crank it off. I'm going to see this. <laughs> In about 20 minutes it will be. I really wish my camera phone was nicer. So I've got it set just by trial and error, by dialing around. I've got it set on a resonant frequency in the tube. So there's a nice standing wave in that tube. Um, and at some points, the pressure is high, the pressure anti that we've been talking about. At other points, the pressure is low. All right, where the pressure is low, then the gas doesn't come out with quite as much force and uh, quite enough velocity to make the flame high. The opposite is true at the pressure anti node, like that. Okay, now let's see what happens if I dial the frequency up. If I go to a higher frequency, are we going to get more peaks or fewer peaks? More. More peaks. Higher frequency means shorter wavelengths, so that means that those peaks are going to be compressed together a little bit. So let's see if the theory works. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Let's go barbecue, because they... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Want some s'more. <laughs> Go really low. Go lower. Go lower. Will it, will it make a big one like big one to go low? Go lower. Lower pitch. Lower. Lower pitch. <laughs> That is cool. Boo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the speaker can't even handle that. A little high, a little high. What the? <laughs> we just go to the twilight zone right there. <laughs> it's a beat. 